A very good morning to you and welcome back. It's time for Strength of a Woman. Well, it's such, it has been such an awaited day, especially for me, hosting Nana the Roda. Kidula Keda. Well, she's a veteran in this industry and, you know, it's, it's big up for me hosting, you know, another journalist on board. But she has done so much. Currently, she quit her radio thing and decided it's time for me to venture into something different. She began her own YouTube channel, 50 Years of Marriage. Yay. Rhoda, I got so much I can say about <laughs> you. A blogger, missioner, YouTube content creator for kids. I don't want to mess up with your bio. Mm -hmm. Can you look at this camera for and Tell uh, the audience, who is Rhoda? Uh, this is Rhoda. Rhoda with a W. Mm -hmm. Rhoda Kidula Kedaha. I'm the host of 50 Years of Marriage, which is a YouTube show. I've been on radio for over 10 years, and it's not a radio thing. As, uh, <laughs> sorry. But you began as a radio presenter yeah, for you, 10 years. You said years. I quit my radio thing, so I'm uh -huh. like... 10 years, you're calling it a thing, yeah. Alex. 10 years, you know. <laughs> it has okay. been a time, you know. <laughs> yeah, so uh -huh. I have a passion for children and creating content for children on YouTube as well. I'm a blogger hey. on my website. I write I, I write about my child, which actually reminded me. Mm -hmm. When they grow up, the stories kind of reduce. Mm -hmm. And you will start feeling sensitive. Should I write about this incident? How would right. they feel? <laughs> but they were, when she was younger, I used to write every day, mm -hmm. every drama. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. That that is who I am. I'm married mm -hmm. uh, to one Mr. Jackson Kedaha and I am a mother of one, Tanasha Kedaha. Yes. Uh, well, I'm trying to look at it from a side of like wife to Jackson Kedaha. Yes. I didn't hear you mention that from your bio. Um, oh, Kedaha, when you say Roda Kedula It's already there, automatic. Yeah, <laughs> 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 All right, now Roda, uh -huh. this is the thing. Yeah, you have been in the media for approximately 10 years plus. Yes, plus. Uh -huh. How was the journey been for you? How did you begin? Because most people know Roda is that person who does it to perfection when mm -hmm. she is on air. Oh, I, 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 I love excellence. God taught me that excellence pays. Mm -hmm. From Kitambo, from Kitambo, so I always do it as unto the Lord and not right. for man. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, in my bio, you start with I am saved, I am mm -hmm. a Christian who uh. loves the Lord with all my heart, all mm -hmm. my soul and all my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I remember when I, after high school, my dad wanted me to be a dentist. Uh, right. Dentist and teacher those two mm -hmm. and uh, then I got pregnant story for another time all right wait no, 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 eh? don't say so for another day because someone <laughs> is watching like, okay, okay. So how old were you back then I was 17 17 years yes, old okay. yes I uh -huh. was 17 so uh, uh, by the time I was supposed to join KMTC to become a dentist all right. I was found to be pregnant so I couldn't go to school but later on uh, God turned things and I found myself in Daystar mm -hmm. and uh, when I joined Daystar mm -hmm. I wanted to be be behind the scenes mm -hmm. in media to be a technician like mm -hmm. those cables around there mm -hmm. I, I feel like I want to know where those cables are heading to mm -hmm. I want to know what's ha happening mm -hmm. uh, I, I that is my passion mm -hmm. I love production and technical work so uh, that is what I wanted to do to be behind the scenes somewhere you know All just right. behind the scenes mm -hmm. uh, then uh, that's where I started mm -hmm. that is where I started so mm -hmm. <laughs> I got uh, a chance to be in Shine FM, that mm -hmm. is Daystar Students Radio, and uh, I was a producer, technician, just making sure everyone right. else anangara. Hey. Then one day, uh -huh. I, I was made to be the head of news, I remember. Where was uh, that? In Daystar, uh -huh. Shine FM. Then one news anchor did show up. So guys Roda, are pop. like, Rhoda, just read, just, just go to some website and read something, you know, you want to kind of just occur the situation. So I read news and the guys are like, oh, Rhoda, do you know you actually have a good voice? I'm like, I know, mm. yeah, I broke my voice in class five, you know, uh -huh. I can't, uh, people can't listen to me and all that. But that was the beginning of something new. Mm -hmm. And I started now practicing. I was reading news in Swahili, English. I was hosting Swahili shows. And it started by just sitting in for people. And people telling me, Rhoda, you can actually do this. Why don't you just get your own show? And that is where it began. I got my show. And in Daystar, I was a junk of all trades. Wow. <laughs> like, people who know me from Daystar can be like, oh, that was the CU treasurer. Oh, no, that was the service team chairperson. Mm -hmm. No, that was the Shine FM, you know. I, I was just everywhere. I was uh everywhere. That's being a journalist because you're mm -hmm. almost, almost everywhere trying to think of but they keep this yes. thing. I think I need to try this. Uh -huh. In the moment of trying it, 
become perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's what you've been doing because looking at you, Shangilia, you mm -hmm. know, activate Route 104. Oh, that's in Hope FM. Yes. 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 Looking at it from a perspective like uh, so and so of leave. Pap, Roda, uh -huh. do this. <laughs> Swahili, you are so. Thank you. Asante. And everyone I bet was like, Oh, Who is this girl? Man, I love women. Then I want to do my selfie, and I'm like, are you sure this is the Roda? <laughs> this is you? the Roda. Oh, by the way, <laughs> hey. she comes in this package. Mm -hmm. I have been feeling uncomfortable that my feet don't touch the ground even here, but you know what? <laughs> I've been reminded, but I'm that I'm big on the inside. So, All right, Roda. Uh, I think that came out as uh, you know what? Mm -hmm. Just go for it. God mm -hmm. is on your side. Having confidence in the Lord, mm -hmm. go and try it instead Trust. of just saying no and you didn't even try. Mm -hmm. I'd rather try and guys say, ah, uh -uh, no that is not for you right. than just saying no i'm scared i can't do it uh, so it began it began like that still at truth fm and at hope fm uh, someone being on leave and they're looking for someone who can do this Rona, mm -hmm. can you try uh, i say let me see then mm -hmm. i go on air and i'm like oh I can actually do this. How, how, how was mm -hmm. the experience your first time on air? Oh, my first time on air was at Fish FM. Right. It's in Eldoret. It's mm -hmm. Ruben Kigame's, uh, used to be Ruben Kigame's radio station. And I remember I was just a first year. So I've been taken to Eldoret to just get the radio experience. I wasn't even in Shine yet in mm -hmm. Daystar. Uh, so uh, when people hear you're from Daystar, you know, they, they ah, just think the you, you, can, you can go on air and do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, so I remember that day, Ruben Kigame said she's the one reading news this morning. I'm like, oh. I'm the one reading news, okay? And I haven't even mastered how the radio station looks like. Well, variations. Yes, you are from Daystar, you can read news. <laughs> so I remember the news manager, I won't forget, Silvano Chumba, that's mm. his name. So he was seated beside me telling me, now when I put on this jingle, you read this news, then I'll put on this bite. I don't even know what a bite is. I don't <laughs> even know what a jingle <laughs> is. I've just come here. I don't know what's happening. I pinched the guy mm -hmm. like I was on his thigh like this. After that, I was like, okay. I can do this thing. No. Uh -huh. Why was I pinching my manager's thigh? Okay. You know, I was reading news while holding uh -huh. his... You don't want to mess up. I was just scared that I didn't want to mess up and all that. And after that, I just told him, you know what, I need more time. I don't want to give people something that... I don't want to be known as that girl who doesn't know what she's wow. doing. Mm -hmm. So they gave me a recorded show. It used to be called The Kitchen Minute. Mm -hmm. So I used to cook something for one minute, recorded. Wow. And yeah, that's where I, I started learning, went right. back to Daystar, and now started perfecting the art. Well, it's mm -hmm. just the beginning of how we're going to unwrap strength of a woman. Keep on interacting with us on our social media platforms. Of course, it's... Why 254 on our Facebook Facebook page. It's at Y254 channel on Twitter. And my Twitter handle is at K underscore Alex. Your Twitter handle? At Rhoda, R-A-W-D-E-R. Yeah. Kidula. Kedaha. All right, uh, Rhoda, <laughs> I want to go back to go on to the issue of Tanaha, you know, going back all mm -hmm. the way. And you talked about it in a brief way. You didn't want to explain. I want to talk yes. about it briefly because probably there's someone who is young, mm -hmm. my patabola, and I feel like, whoa. whoa where do I go from now? Yeah. How was the healing process for you? Uh, from getting pregnant at 17, mm -hmm. not knowing what I've gotten myself into, not ready to be a mother or even wife or anything. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I think I was really confused mm -hmm. and I was uh, really traumatized. I remember at some point I, I wanted to die. Like wow. I, I practiced it for some time, it didn't work. You know, How many I, times probably? Yeah, like three times. Like, I, I just I was like, life has come to the end. I will not live again, even even after getting this baby. Number one, I was scared because of the stories I had heard about women dying while delivering, uh, delivering their mm -hmm. children. And I was tiny, you know, and now my feet are not touching the ground. But, <laughs> How, that, but uh, that is like 11 years ago, so mm. I was smaller. <laughs> I understand. I really get you, Rhoda. <laughs> Uh -huh. So I was smaller, I, all that comes with pregnancy, you know, that is why people prepare for pregnancy mm -hmm. and all that, the, woman, the, bo the body of a woman changes and all that, I wasn't ready at all, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, at that time I, I was hopeless and I was... I was down. I think that was the lowest point of my life. Mm -hmm. Up to now, I think that was, is still the lowest point of my when life. When someone is looking at you right mm -hmm. now, you're just there strong. You know, like, what was that? What, what was really that? happened? There are two ways of this. Yes. Some people look at me, especially before I got married, and mm -hmm. they're like, even me, I just want to get a baby and be like, Rhoda, what? she's happy. <laughs> yes. They're right. like, ah, if Rhoda is just happy, she's just posting photos of herself and her child. Enjoying the and life, they, you know. Yeah, they're enjoying life. 
it can't be that bad. Mm -hmm. Then there are people who are like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Now after hearing that, but because sometimes when you post photos on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and mm -hmm. say the blessings of the Lord and no sorrow, mm -hmm. you don't see, <laughs> you don't see behind the scenes. You don't see the child uh -huh. sick. You don't see the child in uh, school maybe being told to write a composition about my father mm -hmm. and they have nothing to write, you know, or it, like you, you don't see the struggles of a single mother because uh, the internet can be a liar as well. You yes. know, some of us mm -hmm. try and say the truth in some parts, but uh, the bigger part, you know, after this I will highlight, oh, I was, oh, I was with Alex, you know, <laughs> and all that. <laughs> uh, so for someone who's devastated, uh -huh. you, you're pregnant and you're feeling hopeless or in any situation, always know that there is hope. Mm -hmm. I would never oh. know that God will change my story and turn things around for my good. But now as I speak, you know, I am so grateful it happened. Mm -hmm. I learned lessons. Oh, right. Yes, now. But mm -hmm. in that point, if I were to go back, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I would want to have Tanasha when I have a husband, yes. when I have someone else she can run to, mm -hmm. when I am married, when it's right, even in the eyes of God. But uh, now, mm -hmm. if you were to take her away from me, <laughs> that would be the worst thing you can ever do. That would be war. I don't mm -hmm. know how my life would be without her in, in it. You know. Right. So there is always hope. Don't mm -hmm. give up. Don't kill yourself. There will be a better tomorrow. Maybe you're not feeling it now. You're not seeing it now. But it shall come to pass. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, I, we had tried uh, to try and come with Tanasha, but unfortunately, yes, she's in school. She's in school. <laughs> is kuna assessment bado? Kuna assessment kidogo kidogo kuna right. kati and there mm -hmm. and. Uh, she she kind of loves school. All right. Yes. School in like terms of books. Like when there's something important to Kuna be done in school. school. Kuna school. Kuna because of funky, Kuna books. No. I think the repercussions or the consequences of all missing right. cuts and some lessons and all that mm -hmm. <laughs> threaten her sometimes. Mm -hmm. So she feels like, oh, no, tomorrow, no, no, don't, no, don't take me away from school and all that. Wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's talk about Sanasha. She's also a blogger. Yeah. And I saw the blog that she did and mm -hmm. when she hit their uncle became the father. Actually, that is mine. Uh -huh. That is me telling stories of her. So right. she doesn't write. I'm the one who writes about her. Right. She is on YouTube mm -hmm. and she plays the recorder. That's mm -hmm. what she does. She mm -hmm. is. Uh, that's why I was telling you when she was younger, mm -hmm. I used to write so much. Like every week I had an article. <clears throat> because, because she had so much, so much drama. Mm -hmm. Or she will just say something and I'm like, oh, I'm going to write this about is it. this. <laughs> oh, it was so fun. It's, also, it's still on my website. That's the thing. I, I call bloggers. that a blog uh, tired of thinking about titles because sometimes I used to be like, well, how, will I, where, how will I start? It eats me up I like last to, night. You know? I was doing a blog and it was like, how do I even put it? Yeah. And now everyone is like, man, I'm going to a post. What's mm, happening? You and know. It's such, it, it can be tough. So I was like, how would we like call this? How, how will I start? What will be the title? So I just said, you know, I'm tired of thinking about titles. Then I started writing about her. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually that is uh, one of the recent ones when mm -hmm. I, I wrote about yes. my mother just got married to my uncle. Uncle. Yeah. Uncle. <laughs> and that was the title of that one. I just loved it because mm -hmm. it was a process. Mm -hmm. She has known this man as Uncle Jack. But now because Uncle she Jack, hits the office. Yes, yeah, because when we were working to together. Yes. yes. I used to introduce her to people as Uncle mm -hmm. and Auntie. You know, now this is Uncle Jack. Now Uncle Jack <laughs> is marrying my mother. <laughs> now how do we stop calling him I'm going. Uncle Jack? You know, now you can't mm -hmm. call him Uncle. It's just weird. Uh, so it was funny for me. I just had to write that. <laughs> how, how did she take it? Um, sometimes I think this marriage was for her. <laughs> wow, okay. She, she is, she, uh, the first few weeks, mm -hmm. she turned into a three-year-old mm -hmm. where she was demanding for toys again demanding for ice cream. <laughs> she was a grown-up because she was raised up by my parents and right. my brothers and sisters. We we're all grown up. So people used to say, hey, this girl is so mature, you know. Sharp. Your daughter is so collected. Mm -hmm. She's not like, like rowdy and all that. Mm -hmm. Cool, and calm, cool. Kids. Yeah. Yes. And she looks like a 20-something-year-old who has uh, <laughs> some land in Kitengela. Alicia, Fika, 20, you know. <laughs> But now I uh -huh. get married mm -hmm. and she just turns into like, mm -hmm. you know, she's asking my husband to carry her. You, I'm like, no, you w are. What is happening here? Yeah, what is going on? So she's having the joy of her life. That's knowing now she has a dad, you know, uh, that is everything I wish to her. She made it. Yeah, I wish she, she made it. And now you, uh, actually, people uh -huh. expect her to be me. Yeah, everyone is like, you she must better follow. talk like cro no she doesn't <laughs> like the pk's you know mm -hmm. they expect, expect the to behave PKs like your dads be. you know their mm -hmm. moms and the like 
right wow, now. Wow, so Rhoda, let's, let's venture into something before we even come to you. There's a mm -hmm. clip I want us to have a look at. So Rhoda began something on YouTube after she resigned from her official duty at Hope Media and decided to venture into something we call 50 years of marriage. If the clip is ready, kindly let's watch this out. ever after in sickness and in health for better for worse many things have been said about marriages nowadays you can find women who are actually scared to get married why because we are wondering are there women who are happily married well my name is Rhoda Kidula Kedaha and I'll be chatting with 50 women just to find out what keeps them happy waiting up to now so we begin with you telling us how hard or easy it was to save yourself for marriage. The question is, were you virgins? <laughs> yes. The, the two of you, you have to be committed to this thing, you know? If uh, it's one person who is committed to making it work eh, and making it uh, for, as in uh, waiting, eh, mm -hmm. it will not be easy. Yeah. So for me, I would say like uh, we had like that commitment from the word go. We said that this thing will save it for marriage, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, through that commitment, of course it was not easy. Temptations were there. I cannot lie, mm -hmm. you know? I cannot lie to you that uh, there were no temptations. But I think uh, being committed, being committed to that promise that we will uh, wait mm -hmm. no matter what we will wait yeah. you know we will wait and make that covenant on our marriage day what is the role of your best couples are you still talking to them yeah we're best couples are supposed to be like your your marriage parents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yes. so for for me right now the couples that we've bested past i mean when we were a bit older in marriage are the ones that we are still in touch with right mm -hmm. now they even call us They've even gone like ahead. We have WhatsApp groups for the four of us, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. my husband and the two of them. This is 50 Years of Marriage. All right, that's what Rhoda Kidula has ventured into for that and much more. Mm -hmm. Let's come to you. Wow. Tell us more. Thank you for that. Uh, it looks so nice. So. <laughs> <laughs> You've uh, been seeing yourself and I'm like, yeah, is this what? Uh, is this me? And all that. Wow, uh -huh. 50 years of marriage. Mm. And I remember you were asking why 50. Well, <laughs> it's one year. One, it's one just, plus. I've just hit a year in marriage, by the way, uh -huh. uh, last month. Okay. Yeah, that's where you say congratulations. Uh -huh. Why now 50 I'm years of marriage? I'm waiting for you to say congratulations. Okay, Rhoda, it's Juni Cooper standing ovation. Uh -huh. uh, okay, let me send a message somewhere. People are buying me cake. Kedaha, Jackson. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> for getting Groda Kidura on board. <laughs> That's straight for me. Year. <laughs> Congratulations for the one year. Uh, thank you. You're celebrating one year. Yes. You began 50 years in marriage before. Before even. Why? Actually, I was like two months, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when I got married, I was going back to work. And just before I go, went back to work or even to church, mm -hmm. everyone is asking me, how is marriage? Like I got married last week. How is marriage? Right. One How week. Is marriage? Honeymoon. Uh, yeah? Uh, Honeymoon is another story. Uh, 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 my husband uh -huh. had to go abroad a week after <laughs> our marriage. So, <laughs> I need to I'm trying to think like, Yanni, <laughs> what do you mean? It's our time, yeah? You can always have honeymoon. Anytime, anywhere. In any anniversary. We have our lifetime. Case closed. Together. <laughs> okay. So everyone was asking, how mm. is marriage? How is my I'm like, sometimes they used to irritate me because one, my husband is not even around. Mm -hmm. I really wish he was here. I don't know how marriage is. Uh, so uh, when I was with him, mm -hmm. I thought of, you know what? We need to talk about marriage. Why is everyone, want, uh, everyone wants to know how marriage is? Yes. Why don't we get people who've been married mm -hmm. and talk to them? They'll tell us better how mm -hmm. marriage is. So at first I was like, hey, how? Who will believe me? I've not even been married for long. But oh. that's where we get the experts. So mm -hmm. 50 years of marriage is about uh, ladies who have been married from one year mm -hmm. all the way to 50. So I've right. been chatting with them. One year, two years, three years in marriage. Then uh, right now we are at 21 years in marriage. Right. So On we Monday we are posting 22, 23, and 24 right. years in marriage, and we are going all the way till 50 years mm -hmm. of marriage. Uh, so, how, learning and how growing. has the journey been? For oh, you? it's been awesome. At first, I was like, How will I do it? What's you the know, question? the way God uh, just makes things work. 
-hmm. At first I was like, how will I do it? Yes. How? Then my husband was like, I will support you. After executive 50, producer. He's the executive producer. He sends the questions. He, he, he does so much, you know. He All does right. so much about, for, the, for the show. And God brought another angel called mm -hmm. Nashami Wangara. Oh, yes. She's the director mm -hmm. of the show. And uh, she helps her in, especially in getting the ladies. You know, sometimes you want a specific lady who's mm -hmm. been married for 24 years mm -hmm. where will we get her and, and because who's ready to talk also. who's ready to talk about their marriage and we are also christians mm -hmm. we have to get Look a christian mm -hmm. because many times especially in episode one mm -hmm. when we were talking about uh episode one we had ladies one year two years and three years in marriage mm -hmm. these ones that. you loved you loved those, uh, those ones yes. <laughs> I was in that Apparently, It happens that uh, most of us watched that. Yes. I think it's 406 views, yes. 4, a thousand views. Yes. Because like, okay, so uh -huh. there's a point right there. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. now those ones were young in mind. They were, actually, when you watch episode one mm. and compare it to the latest one, episode seven, <laughs> uh, you this were like, oh, what is happening here? Because uh -huh. episode one, they were excited. They were just in the honeymoon stage. I, I loved are. those ones, you know, because mm -hmm. I was also there. So we were having fun talking about were you married or you a virgin when you were married and all that. So sometimes you get the feedback and people are like, you know what, Aroda, these ladies are lying. Wow. They can't tell us they were virgins. And you wonder what has become of our society. Mm -hmm. When someone says they're a virgin, you don't believe it. And I, was, I actually answer people and tell them, actually, it was so hard to mm -hmm. find those virgins to come and talk. Uh, and uh, just encourage people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before you even continue, I forgot to give you something on off air. Yes. But I will show you. Yes. Someone saw me post that I'll be interviewing you. Mm -hmm. And apparently she came with a newspaper oh. dated December 31st, 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, what it was all about is about second second, second virginity. Mm -hmm. And this is the question that I was told to ask yes. you directly. <laughs> yes. How do you get into secondary virginity? Or secondary rather, second virginity, virginity is, yes, I messed up. Mm -hmm. I broke my virginity. I was sexually active before marriage mm -hmm. and all that. But from today, mm -hmm. I want to start living right. All right. I want to, I am a virgin again. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're looking at me and rather, eh, I did the secondary one and, and broke it again. I've been breaking the vow. You can always begin now, whatever mm -hmm. you will call it, secondary virginity, tertiary, whatever. <laughs> you can always make a decision this morning and say, you know what, I'm messing up with mm -hmm. my, my myself, with my spiritual life, with mm -hmm. my physical life, with my emotions. I'm going to start today. So that is what it's about. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I hope Yvonne, we have been satisfied by that. Uh -huh. I'm, so, I'm sorry for mentioning your name anyway. <laughs> but, but let's come to this. Uh -huh. uh, since when you began interviewing all these women, yes. up to now, up to the age, up to 20, 20 plus. 20 plus, yes. 20 plus. Mm -hmm. Has something changed you in terms of how you view your marriage? Oh, your marriage? yes, yes, a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my husband recently told me that I've become a boring wife. <laughs> One year. I've become a boring wife, like uh, before the show began, uh -huh. and b maybe when I was interviewing the younger wives, mm -hmm. uh, I you was, could relate. I could relate, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Yes, women are petty. Men should understand." You know, but now getting to 20, 10, mm -hmm. 11, 20, now twenty-four, uh, these women are telling me, "Rhoda, twenty years later, this won't matter. Take care of your man." Relax, things will be okay. So I have also relaxed in so mind. So you have taken the 20 <laughs> yes. all the way out to one Actually, year. Actually, there's a day he told me, uh, you're just behaving like those women you interview. <laughs> I'm like, but that was the reason, you know. I says I'm less petty. Come I don't on, argue about everything. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I've just relaxed in my marriage, which is also good for him. Yes. But there are times he just wants that... I like, ah, we're not going to argue. I would just ask you, ah, and I'm like, that's petty, you know, like, Niliambi on a petty issue. So even here, petty issue. Hey, Niliambi, when these things won't matter 20 years from now, you know. So, can you get me? Hey, which is again, you know, so. Okay, yeah. let, let me be, let me be a bit, a bit mm -hmm. specific on what I want to ask. Yeah. Has there been a time probably you and your husband felt like, but this thing, I think, to look at some Ali. In 50 years of marriage? No, in uh, your own marriage. In my own marriage, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> I'm Not just really. one year in marriage. Not really. Not because really. I usually hear the dynamics uh -huh. of, of every relationship are totally different. Mm -hmm. And I've heard people, especially even from your show, yes. that what I thought, actually, mm -hmm. you have, there's one who posted that. Of yes. Marriage. Like, typically, uh -huh. this guy is so neat, I'm a suit in a tiny, and he's so crazy to power of you. Then now, once you get in the house, uh, lawyer. Like, ha, no, I wouldn't say that we have sat down and said mm -hmm. we made a mistake. Maybe as Rhoda, mm -hmm. because. Yes, on a personal account. On a personal account account you know um, uh, love is not enough for marriage it's not enough 
Tungeza volume kidogo hapo. Tungeza volume, si ndio? You know when you get married because I love him uh-huh. or you know he looks good or she has everything that I I thought I would get. Yes. Then you get in marriage and you find out, you know, mm. one morning you wake up and you feeling I'm not in love. <laughs> You're like, ah. That's how you sleep. <laughs> oh. For the rest of my life, you know, <laughs> till death do know us these. part, you know. So the realities, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and sometimes she also looks at me and sometimes when she see, he sees something mm-hmm. uh, that is kind of off, he just says, eh, for better, for worse, you know. Mm-hmm. That shows you that he has seen something that maybe mm-hmm. he didn't see when we were dating, mm-hmm. you know. Like, oh, Rhoda, you, you, are, you are this, you get mad like this, you... The realities of the person now. Mm-hmm. Now you're living with that person. You yes. see things. You because now you see them, the nakedness, everything in them, and you're like, oh, during dating, this is what I was hiding, but now I can't hide this anymore. Uh, Rhoda, what was that one thing that you expected, or rather, have been mm-hmm. anticipating from this man? Uh-huh. And then, can get you for marriage. This thing is not exactly what I thought. I number one, I used to think I will be all that matters. You know, in dating, men make you feel that like you are everything all to me. <laughs> that matters. You know, all that matters. Wait until you find the vision is then, laid down. box <laughs> <laughs> You know, vision continues. Oh. You know. So at times, I think I used to feel like I'm not the center of your world anymore. Uh, you are still talking to your sisters and your mother. <laughs> Okay, they are important, right. but at that time I used to feel like I should be the center of it all. You know, mm-hmm. I want to know every time you talk to your mother. I want to know anything you do, mm-hmm. any money you get. I know your salary, mm-hmm. but anything else you get, you need wow. to tell me. And <laughs> yeah, like table read. Yes. And okay. then as a man, he feels like, hey, Tulia, Tulia will grow into that. You know, <laughs> give me fast. time. You, you are taking me too fast. So it was depressing at first mm-hmm. because I used to feel like I should be the center. I am, you, you've married me. And in the man's perspective, yes, mm-hmm. I have married you. Relax. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know. L- let's talk um, about the better side of it. Oh, the, the companionship for me and just doing life with someone who also wants to do life with you. Right. I think that is it for me, you know. And you know, I had sex before marriage and mm-hmm. in marriage and in marriage it's better. It's good. Hi, hi, to <laughs> <laughs> I have heard you ask several ladies yeah. about that on 50 years of marriage. Yeah. How, how, how is it for you? How are you uh, taking it? How are you handling it? Handling? In terms of sex, out oh. the one that you did previously, mm-hmm. how did Actually, Kedaha take for, it? For, for, one, mm-hmm. for the first times, the, the first weeks, the first mm-hmm. month, uh, I used to feel like it's seen. <laughs> All right. Because I've had so many times being told, no sex, no sex. Like, my mind was filled with sex is wrong, mm-hmm. sex, and I knew uh, the consequences of having sex and all that. So I was a bit scared of going back there. Mm-hmm. So at first I was like, hey, you feel like repenting. <laughs> you feel like, oh God, will you still accept me? Then you remind yourself, oh, now it's right. Now it's a you're good in thing. marriage. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now so, you're in marriage. Mm-hmm. Enjoy it. Yeah. So. How, how did how, how was the transition for you? Because one mm-hmm. thing I, I understand that transition is one of the things that can either mess you yes. up or rather build you up. Mm-hmm. How was the transition for you? Oh, I think we. Uh, for us, we we invested so much before marriage, right. knowing each other, for him knowing my daughter, my daughter knowing him, and now just, uh, yeah, meeting them, meeting, going out for coffee. Mm-hmm. There are times when he used to come and take her for movies mm-hmm. so that they just bond with mm-hmm. Uncle Jack, you know. Uh, I think that really helped because um, uh, when we got when we got married, now mm-hmm. we know each other. It's a family. Yeah. It's it's those friends are now together. And it's mm-hmm. now a family. But I used to, and I'm still learning how to let him mm-hmm. father right. Tanasha right. because right. I'm used to making all decisions. Mm-hmm. So when he said, you know, uh, we we need to take her to a different school. I'm like Kwanini. She has been okay, you know. When he says, you know, uh-huh. you need to be harsher. Now, no, I'm I'm like, hey, why? So he feels like you've not let me in. But slowly by slowly, I have been now allowing him to 
take wow. the role of a father. It feels like it feels like we've just begun, but yes. unfortunately we are out of time. Oh, yeah, as time already? just flashes <laughs> like that. And of course we'll mm -hmm. be looking forward probably to have you some other time. Yes. You need to talk about even the blogging part of it, yes, talking about you. the missions that mm -hmm. you do. Now that something happened at your teenagehood, now you are launching out to high schools, you know, talking yes. to them about what happened to you. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to look at the camera, give us your parting shot and uh -huh. everything that entails Roda and the 50 years of marriage. Oh, okay, yes, Roda Kidula Kedaha, that is my uh, social media handle everywhere, on Facebook, Twitter, on Instagram, even on YouTube, but Roda with a W-R-A-W, Roda Kidula Kedaha. And uh, I would like to continue uh, interacting with you even on the social media platforms, on the digital media and all that. Uh, for the people who are looking into marriage, you know, sometimes, many times, come across people who are waiting. Volume, yeah, you get the volume, Kidogo, uh, your time will come. Honor God, he will honor you, that's what I say. Is when you honor coming? God in your singlehood, he will honor you even in marriage. So live right. Uh, honor God. He will honor you. He will um, bless you with a spouse and all that. For those who are married, marriage works. Yes, <laughs> marriage works. And continue watching 50 years of marriage. We are growing together. And the real marriage, real marriage that works is in Christ. So in Christ, everything works out. Many thanks, Rhoda, for Thank coming. Thank you. Got something from you. Thank embrace you. the process. Amen, amen. All right, that's Rhoda Kidula Kedaha, you know, and it has been such an amazing moment to have on the strength of a woman. Of course, Val is coming up next. My name is Karanja Alex. This is Y254.